I've worked at Mercy Hospital and UPMC Mercy for 58 years. I worked at Mercy Hospital for the first 49 years, and for the last 15 years, I've worked for UPMC Mercy. Well, I've been at Mercy for 46 years, so I've been here as long as it's been part of UPMC. My name is Sister Placidus McDonald. I'm a Sister of Mercy. I'm a staff medical technologist. My name is Sister Carolyn Schellenberger, and I'm a new hire support coordinator. My name is Sister Sandy Pelusi, and I am a chaplain here at UPMC Mercy. The Sisters of Mercy have four vows, poverty, chastity, obedience, and the fourth vow is that of service. Service to the poor, the sick, and the uneducated. And that has been part of our history from the beginning of our foundation. We're celebrating 175 years this year. We've worked in healthcare, education, and social work. I wanted to be a nurse and decided I was going to be trained at Mercy Hospital in Pittsburgh. I met the Sisters of Mercy as I was taking classes and decided that that was my step in life. Well, being a sister is a call, and I'm happy I was called to the Sisters of Mercy. And we were not a cloistered order, but we were out there with the people, and that's what I wanted to do. I'm a hands-on person. Even though medicine has developed so much, there's so many new technologies, I'm still taking care of patients, and I'm glad to be a part of that. I've had nearly every role. I worked as an aide, I became a staff nurse, was a manager of a pediatric floor, director of the school of nursing, vice president of nursing and patient services. The patient is the same person today as they were before. The mission is still the same. Everybody is a creature of God and needs to be treated that way. What I like most about being a chaplain is the chance to be at people when they are going through crisis periods in their lives. I was a music therapist here for 30 some years, and I still do music once a month, but I can see how it brightens most people, and that makes me happy that I can still do that. I'm still glad to be part of UPMC Mercy and to see some of the students that I trained develop and go on to other positions. I think that having had the opportunity to work with young people has helped to keep me young. Somebody has to keep the spirit going. And I'm really happy that UPMC has allowed us to continue this faith-based institution. You know, there are only three of us left at this point, and I have a lot of hope that the mission will continue even though the sisters won't physically be here. I think the future will be continuing bright as long as we focus on taking care of God's people.